Hi, I'm Jen Cam, and today I'm going to be playing a print and play that was um, created and illustrated by Ways Unseen, which is available on Drive Through RPG. I am going to put a link to the game in the description below if you want some more information. So, like I said, Village Emporium is a print and play game, and I know we all love our big games and our Kickstarters and all these things, but every now and then I really enjoy playing a print and play which is very affordable this is a pretty simple print and play i think that the rules are kind of still evolving when i first found out about the game from the creator's youtube channel which i will also put a link to in the description below some of the rules were a little bit different from the version i have here so those kind of changed like within a week of when I saw that YouTube video and was commenting in um, the comments there and when I purchased the game and printed it out. So um, just keep in mind that some of the rules might be different if you do decide to get the game than they are now, but this should give you a pretty good understanding of how the game works and if this one is right for you. So. With that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so in the Village Emporium, you are a shop owner. And of course, as part of being a shop owner, you are trying to serve customers. So you can make money because um, money is how you're going to be getting things to get commerce points. Commerce points are, of course, victory points. Um, the game's pretty simple. We're gonna be rolling dice and stocking our store. So how it starts first is we are gonna start with five coins. So you put five here. However, I know that I wanna buy an assistant for the first season. So I'm gonna give myself two coins now and check off the assistant box. I'll explain what the assistant does in a few minutes, um, but just know you can hire an assistant for each of the season, which are the rounds of the game, at three coins per assistant, one per season. So we're gonna start with two coins. The next thing we are gonna do is start to stock our store. So there are three different foraging tracks. You have planes, forests, and the river. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna roll for the planes and we got a two. So that means we are gonna get a dock leaf. Next we can roll for the forest and that is also a two. Ugh. Okay, so that is gonna be a truffle. We'll have one of those as well. And then last but not least, we're gonna roll for the river and that's a six, that's awesome. We're gonna start with a pearl. So when you start off in the game, you're gonna start with five different um, shelving, or shelf space for your foraging stock. But you also have space for goods that you're gonna get from the traders. So when you start off, you have access to trader A and trader B, and then with upgrades, you can access later if you choose to, trader C who has some pretty expensive items. So we're gonna roll once for trader A, and a two again, it's gonna be that kind of day, huh? So that is a healing balm. So we're gonna write that in here and we will have one of those and then we'll roll for Trader B. And that is gonna be the patch cloak. We are not starting off very good. We don't have very uh, high end items. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the game, we're starting off with an assistant and what how a turn works is that you can do one of three options. You can go foraging, you can go to a trader, or you can um, work your store. So what the trader allows you to do is do two out of the three. So you can't do one of them twice, but you can do two instead of three. So we don't really have any money. So what we're going to do is we are going to go foraging and then also let our assistant take care of the store. You do have the option of doing what's called out and about events, which so then after you decide what you're going to do on your turn, you would 
roll on that table, and then you may or may not have an event that would affect what you're going to do. I am not going to do it. I have done it for all my other plays, and then I kind of notice that I forget <laughs> to roll when I'm supposed to. So for the sake of making this a little bit faster so you kind of get the idea, um, we're going to go without it today. And we are going to start by foraging in the river. And the reason why I want to do that is one, it has higher end or more expensive items that we can get, but also you can't forage in the river in the winter. And in different seasons, there are bonuses. So like in the summer, you get plus one uh, die for rolling in the plains and the forest is plus one for the forest. Honestly, the plains aren't amazing. So I'm not really, sometimes getting that plus one is hard because then you get stock that you can't get rid of. So we're gonna start with the river. And when you go foraging, you have to start next to the village and you have to go orthogonally adjacent. So not diagonal. And then from then on, you can go orthogonally adjacent from somewhere that you've already foraged. So we are going to forage the river here. And so we are going to roll and that is a five. So that is going to give us a trout. So that's pretty good that there's quite a few people, customers that want trout. So that is the end of our turn. So now it's going to be our assistant's turn. And we have the option of trying to sell to local customers or out of town customers. So the out of town customers are gonna want some of the more high end items that you get from the traders. So we're gonna roll for the local customers. So we're gonna roll 2d6 and that is four. So that is Hilda. Luckily for us, Hilda wants a truffle, which we do have. So we are gonna sell that truffle to Hilda and that is gonna give us one coin. Yay! So since we were able to sell to one customer, we can try again. And we are going to try again on the local customer table. And we got seven, which is Vlad. And oh, we are lucky because Vlad wants a patched cloak, which we happen to have. So when you're selling an item, you are going to look at the cost, which is what we would pay for it, and you're gonna add it to. So we're gonna make five coins off of that patched cloak, selling it to Vlad. So now it is the end of the day, and we have the option of buying an upgrade. So we do have eight coins, and I think we're gonna sell five of them to buy the Lucky Charm, which will allow us to de decrease our customer roll by one. So we will mark that we bought that. That will give us more options on our customer roles, obviously. So in the future, I will probably do all the math of what we sold and whether or not we do an upgrade before I mark it in here, just so that way I'm not erasing things constantly and getting eraser stuffs all over my play mat. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of the day. So we are going to mark the day here and we could go to our next day and we are gonna continue to forage and i think we are actually going to forage in the plains today oh yeah we're gonna forge in the plains today we only have three coins so our assistant is going to stay in the shop so let's go ahead and roll for the forage and it's four which is a wild carrot so we have another item and we are going to stick with our local customers so our first roll is for four. That's Hilda again. We can't help her, but we can help Sven. Sven wants a dock leaf and a wild carrot, and we can sell him both. We can sell different ones, but we can't sell multiple of the same. So the dock leaf is worth one and the wild carrot's worth one. So that is gonna give us two. So now the question is, is with our trout, our pearl, and our healing balm, balm do we want to try to sell to an out of town guest? We do have local customers that want all of those, but we also have uh, out of town customers that will buy those as well. So the thing with the out of town customers though, is 
at the end of the game, the more of them that you sell items to, the more um, consumer points you get. So since there isn't anything that is specific to local, let's try for the out of town customers for the first time. And that's an 11. Okay, let's see. And Roland, we don't have anything he wants, but Willow does want a trout. So we'll mark that we served Willow and we can sell that trout to them for three. So that is five coins this turn. And there's really no upgrades that I want right now. So I will add those five and then maybe next turn we'll go to a trader. Actually, it shouldn't say that there's nothing we want because there is the rare trader. <laughs> Um, and of course we're going to want to unlock him at some point, but not yet. Cause we wouldn't be able to go to him anyway. And we are, we don't have anything in our store anymore. So for this turn, we are going to, we're definitely going to forage and we're going to go to a trader. So do we want to go to the plains or do we want to go to the river? Both of them at this point have a plus one where we can get, we can roll an extra die. Oh, I forgot to mark the end of our day and our time tracker. Since we have so few different type of items, let's go to the planes. We will roll twice. So that's a six and a three. So that is the snake skin and dock leaves. And then do we want to go to trader A or trader B? Let's go to trader B since we don't currently have an item from them. And that is five. That is the Tome of Oddities. So we are gonna pay five coins to get that item. So that is the end of our turn. We don't really have any money, so I guess we're going to forage and sell. So we might as well go to this river spot this time. And we get to roll two dice. Okay, so that was a one and a four. So that is a seaweed and a trout. So we can actually sell to almost all of the out of town customers. So we're gonna go for that. <laughs> so we got seven, which is Balin. So yeah, let's go ahead and sell that snakeskin to Balin. That is gonna be worth two coins. And now let's try for another out of town customer. And we got ooh, seven again. So obviously we can't sell to Balin, but we can sell to Lila and she will take the trout. Okay, so that gives us five coins. I think we're gonna hold on to those and we will save them for a trader. Oh man, yeah, let's stock up a couple more items in our store. So that is the end of this day. So I think this time we are gonna go foraging in a forest and go visit a trader. So we'll only roll one die this time, but we don't have any forest items. So that is an apple. And let's go to, let's go to trader A. And that was a six, so that is a treasure map. So there goes our five coins, that's okay. And since we forged and went to the trader, that is the end of our turn. So we're definitely gonna wait, wanna make sure that we sell. Next time we do have the three coins we need for the assistant, but, which is important, it's very important, but we wanna make sure that we have money, plus now we are like filling up. So, ooh, don't have much money now, oh dear. Okay, so let's forage in the river here, and because no matter what, we have space. I have a space here, and then I have these two. So even if I get the trout, I can put it here, and we don't run out of room. Um, and then, we will serve customers. So let's see what we get in the river. Five is the trout, so whew, that was close. And for the customers, so I think we're gonna go for the out of town customers, because we do have a lot of stuff. 12, yes, because that would be hard to get to later. That is Thorn, and he wants our healing balm. That's awesome. That healing balm is going to net us five coins. We are going to roll again on the out of town customers. And that is three. So we can do two or three. Ooh, let's go for Auric. Auric wants a pearl and a treasure map. So we were able to get 16 coins that round. So I'm definitely gonna spend the eight coins to unlock Christoph Vanguard, 
Trader C. And then of course I'm going to spend three for the summer trader since now we are there. And yeah, now we're in summer. So what do we want to do for our first day of summer? We want to go to the trader. We want to go to Trader C. So let's do that and see if we could sell any items. So let's roll for Trader C first. And that's six, that is a dragon scale. So that is going to cost all of our money. So just so you know, it is optional if you want to buy the item or not. So for instance, if you know that this person really, really wants leather gauntlets and you roll on a, you didn't get the roll, you didn't get the leather gauntlets, you can decide not to buy from that trader. So that way you still have the money that you could use somewhere else or still save it for later. Okay, so we went to the trader and now we are going to roll because we have no money. Oh man, I think we're actually gonna roll for the local customer. Oh, let me see, let me math this real quick. So it's 50-50 on the out-of-town customers. All right, let's try. <laughs> let's try for the out-of-town. We've got nine. Nine is Amara. Amara does want a trout, and we haven't sold anything to her yet. So yeah, let's sell her the trout for three coins. Without that trout, let's try a local customer. And we got five. That is Terrence. Thank goodness Terrence wants that dock leaf. I want that out of our inventory. So that's four coins this turn. We're not going to buy anything. So we will roll that over to the next round. So I think we're going to go foraging in the river because it's more valuable and our assistant can stay back at the store. Okay. And it's a four, which is a trout. I should just keep that up here <laughs> instead of erasing the whole thing. Okay. So we got our trout and now we can roll for our customer. I think that trout's gonna help us with our out of town customers. So let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and roll for out of town customer. That is five and that is Leaf. Leaf does want our Tome of Oddities. Let's go for it. That's gonna give us seven coins. All right, so let's roll for local next. And that is eight. Who is eight? Eight is Buttons. And Buttons wants seaweed and an apple. So that's another four. So that's 11 coins this round. That's not bad. So I think what we're going to do with that 11 is we are going to get a window display for nine. That's going to allow us to increase our customer role by two. And that's also three uh, consumer points at the end of the game. So that left us with two coins. So we're going to have a total of six. We don't have much in the store right now. So thinking that we're going to forage and go to a trader. I think maybe we'll aim towards pleasing our local customers for a little bit so we can get more trade goods. So let's forage here in the plains. That's going to be three. So one for the regular, one for the bonus for this square, and then also for the foraging. Also, the more areas you go to throughout the game, that's also more consumer points at the end. So it's good to continue to forage. So we will roll three for that. And then with our six gold left, we will go to a trader. Of course, if we're going to be rolling this many, maybe we do want to sell. You know what? We're not going to go to a, a trader this turn. We're going to just forage and then we will try to sell what we get. So I got two fives and a one. So in the planes, that's two wild carrots and a dock leaf. Okay, so let's see if we can sell to a local customer. We got eight, and but now we can move things around quite a bit. So eight is button seaweed and apple. We don't have any of that. If we go down one, truffle snakeskin patch cloak. Nope. Hans wants it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we can't sell to anybody. Dang it. Okay, so when you can't sell to the first customer, you don't get to try again. Oh, I guess I should have stuck with the foraging. Okay, that is the end of, the, oh my gosh, I don't think I've been marking days. Did I miss a day? Okay, I think this is the end of the third day of summer. Yikes, I might have missed one. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just move on. Okay, so what do we want to do? Let's forge in the river and try again to sell. For the river, we got a pearl. That's absolutely fantastic. 
And we're going to try again on the local customer track. We have six. Okay, that's Briga. Briga wants Wild Carrot Apple or Iron Sword. So we will definitely sell her one of those. Wild Carrot's only worth one, but at least now we can roll again. And we got seven. And it looks like we're selling to Briga again because we can't sell to anybody else. So she bought both of our Wild Carrots. I guess that wild carrot was so good. She came back later in the day for another one, but that gave us like no money. <laughs> that was two coins. We are up to eight though, so that's not too bad. We're gonna end our day because I'm not gonna do any upgrades. And this turn, I think we're gonna forage and go to a trader. And we're gonna go forage at this spot in the river that will allow us to roll twice. Oh my gosh, and it is two ones, so that is two seaweeds. And let's let's try Trader A. And we got two, which is the healing balm. Oh, that's not what I was hoping for. It's better to st stock something than not. Okay, so we will buy the healing balm. And we are going to continue to try for local customers. That is three. Uh, Sven wants dock leaves. Oh, good. So we will definitely sell that dock leaf. Get that out of here. And that will give us one. Yay. <laughs> and let's roll again for the local customer. That is six. Six is Briga, who we can't help. If we go down to Terrence, we sold that dock leaf, so we can't help. If we go up to Vlad, nope. But Buttons wants a sea leaf, or a seaweed. So we can sell that to them. So that is three coins this round. I think we're just gonna hold on to that money so we can continue to go to the trader. We will end our day. So we, this is gonna be our last day in summer. Oh man, how much do I care about foraging? I don't. So I'm gonna go to the trader and the assistant is gonna sell to customers. And let's try trader A again. And it is a two, that's a healing balm again. I am not gonna buy it this time. Nope, not buying it. So, oh, I was really hoping for the leather gauntlets or the iron sword or the mage's robes. All right, so let's do, oh, I, yep, so let's roll for that table. And that is seven. Oh man, we are just hitting that world a lot. So, I don't think we're going to be able to sell to anybody. Oh, wait, we got buttons again. We can sell that seaweed too. That's it. Okay, so we'll sell that seaweed, which is worth two. And let's try the out of town again. I'm not feeling very great about it, but nothing in the middle of that table is really working for us anyway. So that six, six is going to give us Lila, who does want a trout, so we could sell that. Although if we go down one to leaf, we can sell the uh, healing balm. And yeah, we're gonna sell the peeling balm. That's worth more. And so that's gonna give us five. So with that being the end of the season, I'm gonna purchase our assistant for next turn. So now we are starting fall or autumn with 12 coins. So we are definitely going to a trader and I am going to have my assistant forage. We're gonna forage in the forest. So since this is a plus one, we're gonna roll three. And we got a six, a three, and a two. So it's gonna be two truffles and a honeycomb. All right, so let's try to roll for trader A. It's three, that's the leather gauntlets. That's at least something different. <laughs> Those are gonna cost three. So we still have nine coins. I think I want to forage this last spot in the river. One bummer part of not doing the out and about events is um, some of the events will allow you to forage in areas that you can't forage. <laughs> so that really is it for the river without having the events. Okay, so we're gonna forage there and we are going to go to a trader. So I'll roll one die for the river. Oh man, that's only a seaweed, but that's okay. I was hoping for another pearl or a trout. 
And which trader do we want to go to? Let's go for, let's go to trader C. That is five. That is going to be a magic scroll. So it's going to take almost all of our money. <laughs> so at the end of the day, we are down to only two coins. So obviously we need to forage and we need to run our shop. If we roll a four or five on foraging though, in the forest, we in trouble. So let's forage here where we're, we're still rolling two dice. We can use eagle eye points, which will allow us to find something or get something else off the table, but it is negative points at the end of the game. But it might be worth doing that versus throwing the item away. But let's see what we get. And it's the one and a three, so it doesn't matter. It is two truffles. We are knee deep in truffle. And let's let's roll for out of town. Uh, we got eight. Eight is going to be a Milo. Seaweed, Pearl, and Ancient Mirror. And we haven't sold to them yet. Yes, let's do that. So that gives us six coins so far. Let's roll on the out of town table again. We have seven, which is Balin. Can't sell to him. We could sell to Lila. Lila wants a trout and the leather gauntlets. We can sell both of those. Oops, I put a three here. We don't have three. That is the value of three. We have one of those. So we could sell to Lila. We already sold to Milo, so we don't have those again. But we could sell to Amara, who wants the trout and the am magic scroll. Let's sell to Amara. <laughs> the trout and the magic scroll. Uh, scroll. The magic scroll. So I'm like a much better idea. That's going to give us 18 coins for those sales. So I'm going to take 10 of that 18 to buy the tapestries. It's three points at the end of the game. Plus now we can uh, charge one extra coin per item sold. And we still have eight coins. Okay. We have a lot of empty space. Let's go foraging in the forest and, and let's go. Ooh, do we want to do that? Yeah. Let's get rid of some of those. We're going to go foraging in the forest and we're going to sell to local customers because we're going to get more money now. Otherwise, why did we spend that 10? I mean, other than the three points. We can get rid of maybe some of these truffles, although we're possibly just gonna get a lot more truffles. Yikes. You know what, let's not. Let's go to a trader. Oh, how many, oh, I do wanna forge so I get the points. Maybe we'll forge in the plains and sell to local customers. So let's forage here. So that's gonna be one. It's not a lot of money, but it's the points at the end to oh, dock leaves again and then for the local customer number one that is nine who is hans apple snake skin boar meat nope sorry dude we could move up one and sell you know what i forgot to re really uh erase our leather gauntlets that we sold all right so good to catch um what did i roll i rolled a nine if we go up to petal we can sell petal the honeycomb Yes. So we're going to sell the honeycomb to petal, which is now worth four. And let's try on the local again. Um, six. Let's sell the truffle to Vlad. And truffles are now worth two. So that is six coins this turn. I'm going to hold on to that money because we are on our next turn going to a trader. Let's go to trader C. We got five. Five is a magic scroll. Okay, so the number of out-of-town customers we can help are pretty limited. So let's go to our local table. Uh, we got nine, and we are unable to sell to anyone. Yikes. It is the last day of fall. So I think we are going to forage here so we can roll three dice. And then we will also go to a trader. I'm just not sure which one yet. <laughs> All right, we got two apples and a honeycomb. And let's go to, let's try trader B this time. We've got three boar meat, yes. And now we are moving into our final season, which just means we can't forage in the river. That's fine because we don't really have anywhere to forage for the river. So, oh, I bought the boar meat, but I didn't pay for it. Yikes. So we are going to go to a trader and have our assistant sell. Which trader do we want to go to? Let's go with A. Well, let's see what we need. Okay, so Hino wants leather uh, gauntlets, 
Tome of Oddities, Elixir of Strength. Gunner would be happy with the boar meat that we already have. And Roland would be happy with the boar meat we already have. So let's actually go to Trader B because Trader B has two things that Heino wants. So let's hope we get a five or a six. Oh, it's a one. Oh, you know what? Let's buy it. And maybe we just sell. No, we're not going to buy it. We're not buying it because because we're not buying it. <laughs> okay, let's try for a out of town customer. <gasps> Yo, my God, you're joking. And I don't have what I need to sell to Hino. That's so irritating. That just keeps happening to me. I'm not even joking. I feel like every time I play this game and I go to Trader B specifically to get those two items, I roll snake eyes that turn. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So can't sell to him, can't sell to Auric, but I can sell to Gunner and Gunner wants the boar meat. So the boar meat was four and now it's going to sell for seven. I think I've been missing giving myself money at times, but that's okay. So let's roll again. Let's roll on the local this time. And we have six. Uh, Briga will buy an apple that's worth three. So we're going to get 10 for this turn. And let's spend three of that. Oh, man. Let's spend three of that to get a fancy sign. So that way we can sell to an extra person because we are running out of time. So we're going to get seven coins for that turn. We have a lot of money. So we are going to go to a trader and sell some goods. Let's try for trader B again to wooden shield i think there's legitimately only one person that wants a wooden shield and that is hilda but i think we're gonna roll on that table anyway so let's buy the wooden shield for three that might have been a bad idea but let's roll on the local table or nowhere near hilda oh we are but too far away oh we're not even here just kidding Seven, Vlad. Vlad will buy a truffle. I will probably sell Vlad a truffle. Yep, Vlad, you get a truffle and I get two coins. Okay, and let's roll for our second one. That is nine. Uh, let's see. And I think we're selling our apple. We're selling that for three, so we're at five. This isn't big money, but okay. Who do we want to sell to? I think we're gonna try it local again. And it's five. I was really hoping we'd sell that sword or that shield. Oh, cool. We can. Because if five, we can go down one to Hilda to sell a truffle and the shield. So the shield we bought for three. So we'll sell it for six. The truffle we will sell for two. So that is eight off of Hilda. So 13 in total. And I'm going to spend 12 of that 13 to get some mahogany shelves. That is going to be five points at the end of the game. So we have a lot of money. I am going to go to the trader and try to sell. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to B. And it's three. That's boar meat. We will buy it for four. Let's try out of town customers. We rolled five. That is leaf. And we don't have anything he wants. If we go down to gunner. Gunner wants boar meat, and I feel like we sold to him maybe, but I forgot to mark it. Either way, we're selling the boar meat. So that is now we gain seven coins. That was a good one. That's our first customer. So let's try. Let's hope we roll an 11. <laughs> we're somewhere in the vicinity. Nope, not even close. So six trout leather gauntlets. Nope, nope. Nope. And no. So that's the end of that. We got three coins. Let's spend, we have 20 in total. So let's spend 11 to get a pet mimic for the four points at the end. And that's okay because we still have enough money to go to our traders on our next turn. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to a trader. We're going to try B one patched cloak no why all right let's buy the patched cloak and that's going to cost us three 
and we will try to sell to local customers. Attempt one, that is six for Briga. Can't sell to Briga, but we can sell to Terrence who wants a dock leaf and that patch cloak. That was close. So right now we're at eight for this round. For the out of town customers, I can only sell to Amara at nine, Roland at 11, or Thorn at 12. I mean, to get to Amara, that's only, I have to roll a seven or higher to take care of this. All right, let's go for it. Let's try for, because I really don't have anything to sell to local customers anyway. So let's try for the out-of-town guests. Ooh, ooh, it's a nine. It's a nine. <gasps> it's a nine. Oh my gosh. So we can go up the two to sell to Roland. Roland wants the magic scroll. Yes. <sighs> okay, magic scroll. We are selling for 10. That's awesome. Okay, so we could sell to try to sell to one more person. Let's just see if we can sell a truffle to a local. And I don't think so. Let's see, nine. Nope, no truffle, but that was eight. So I'm okay with that. Now we could use seven of the 18 we're getting to get the counter bell, which is two points, and we can reroll. Why not? Oh my gosh, did I not? I've been using a assistant this whole time and I never paid for it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I just never marked it or if I never paid for it, but I've been using it the whole time. Yikes, my bad guys. Okay, uh, so we have two days left. We're gonna go to a trader. Honestly, at this point, we are just trying to get that roll a two or three so we can sell to Hino. And Hino wants things from Trader B, so let's try that. Six is not, oh, it is, it is. It's his elixir of strength. Yes. Okay. And now, of course, we're gonna go for out of town. That elixir strength costs us five. Okay, come on, roll a two or three, two or three. Nope. <laughs> All right, eight, seaweed pearl, ancient mirror, nope. We go down, nope, nope, can't sell to either of them. I can re-roll four, oh, one too high, one too high. Okay, that is the end of that turn. So we are going into our last day and we are, let's go, let's go to a trader. Who do we wanna go to? Let's go to trader C. Four is elven sword, so that's gonna cost us six. And we're gonna roll on our out of town customers. Oh my gosh, that's two and two, so that's four. Maybe that helped this time. I don't think so though. It didn't, so we're gonna have to re-roll. Okay, this is our last chance. Six is what I just rolled, wasn't it? Or maybe not. No, I rolled four, okay. So I know I can't do those. Balin, oh man, we bought that elven sword for nothing. If we rolled one higher, we could have sold it to Willow. Oh, I'm sorry, we'd have to roll two higher, geez. Cause we rolled a six. So yeah, Balin and Milo. Man, that was such a bummer. Okay, well, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let's see how we did. Okay, so first we're gonna score one point for each three locations visited. Okay, so we visited 16 locations, so that is five points. For our upgrades, we're gonna see what we got in here. Okay, so we got two plus three, so five, eight, 11, 15, 20. We're gonna score one point for each of our um, out of town customers served at least once. We got 11 out of 12. We're not gonna score any money for coins because we bought that elven sword, <laughs> but that would have been like one point, so it doesn't matter. Um, so nothing there. We did not use our haggle points or eagle eye points. I never I um, discussed haggle points. That is so you can get an extra coin. We didn't do any of that. So our total is gonna be 36. So according to our uh, how did you do section of the rule book, a score of 35 or higher uh, means your emporium is considered the finest in the kingdom, greater even than that of Mirabelle's superior supplies. So there we go, 36 points.
So as I said earlier, I am going to do my best to try to remember to put a link to this game um, on Drive Through RPG in the description below, and also a link to the designer's um, YouTube page where I actually found out about the game. And that way, if there's any updates to the game, you'll be able to see them there. But I think when I purchased this game, it was under $2 on Drive Through RPG, and I've played it oh gosh, probably five or six times now. So I think definitely a very, very great value. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, bye-bye.